Up in the ring, Boyd Pierce is ready to introduce this event. Let's swing up and pick up his introduction. This event, special girls match, two out of three falls, 45 minute time limit from Mexico. In the blue corner at 142 pounds, Estela Molina. And across the ring also from Mexico, 140 pounds, La Pantera de Serena. Your referee, Bronco Luby. So there is La Pantera de Serena. A lively young lady from Mexico and Estela Molina, a veteran of the Mexican wrestling wars. So here in this match, we should see the best of Mexican girl wrestling. And of course, give you an opportunity to compare the styles of the Mexican girls with the style of the American girls. Referee Branko Lubich has the enviable job of refereeing this event. Stella, I have seen wrestle before, and she is good, and she is tough. And she also responds rapidly to anybody who manages to raise her temperature just a little bit. She has a Japanese arm lock, but you can see that as she moves in, she covers it by snatching the hair of the panther. They are evenly matched in spite of the fact that uh, Estela Molina is um, heavier and probably more experienced, and she is more experienced, but whether she is better remains to be seen. And not only through the ropes, but I'll tell you, clear through and a long slide out on the floor. So La Pantera de Serena has an opportunity now to come back in the ring, but um, it is only to face more problems from Estela. Japanese arm lock, and again, that short hair of the panther becomes a um, becomes a handle that she uses to control the young lady. Inside, bar to hold, and again, the Stella comes right up there. Of course, I have long advocated that perhaps it would be right to legalize the pulling of hair in a girls' match, since in any scuffle, it almost seems like a natural weapon for girls to reach out and grab a long, a handful of longer hair. So Estela now knows that she's going to retaliate in kind. A little crisscrossing here and, whoa, she went up and down and she landed hard, hard landing. Estela now to try to accomplish the same, oh! Well, there are a lot of ways to land on the mat, but I think that that is one of the ways I would prefer not to land. This time, she turned it to her advantage and did a good job. Quick switch on that arm. Oh, 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 oh. she caught a solid, a beautiful kick. She laid it in there with force and with dexterity, to say the least. As Stella Molina now keeps her body close to that rope so she'll be able to maneuver out. Well, the offer is a handshake. Would you shake hands with that young lady, knowing that she might pop you in the nose with the very next move? I think she's telling her not to listen to the crowd, and the crowd is telling La Pantera de Serena not to <laughs> well, the friendly embrace, and that's the way to retaliate. When somebody displays ill manners, why, well, you teach them a lesson. Oh, she hit her a solid smack alongside the jaw. That was a... 
wallop that would give you an earache for a month. So the Panther is down and Estelle is trying to make sure that she stays there. Caught her with the elbow and it was a good one. Estelle is quick to point out to these fans when she gains an advantage. Setting her up. Oh, she came up there with a vicious kick in the stomach. Hard, hard driving kick. And as Estella steps in, she's got her tightly grabbed by the by the hair, looking for an opportunity to to throw her. She did. <laughs> Set a new record for height that time, I think. Fireman's carry slam, and she's punishing the Panther. She dropped her right on her head. The pile driver. Well, I'll be darned. Estella Malena, who comes up here with a win in the first fall of this match. Estella Malena comes in to not only win the fall, but rather disdainfully to literally pronounce herself the victor by placing that foot on the chest and raising the arm. So the winner of the first fall is Estella Molina, and we'll be back here in a moment. Right now, let's have this word from the studio. Three, two, one, amen. Well, as the bell sounds for the second fall of this match, La Pantera de Serena is still out on the concrete, and the Estella is trying her best to uh, get her back in the ring. The referee is counting, and the young Mexican girl is, uh, I believe, has injured her knee, and she has had her second working on it. She has changed the bandage on her knee during the brief time that she was out there, and now she, she maneuvers around. She's looking for the opportunity to get back in that ring without... Um, running into a kick from Estella. And now Estella knows it's coming. You see her arguing with the referee to get her to open her fist. And she wants a peace pack. And oh man, that was a wallop. The, the force that this Estella Molina can put behind her, her blows is, is awesome when you consider that she's hitting another girl. If she was hitting a man that way, he'd have something to, uh, to show for it. So Pantera de Serena runs into trouble. She has lost one fall and Estella's trying to set her up for a straight fall win and the straight fall win could be gained by putting a foot straight into her stomach and blasting away. The grip is around the neck, Estella moves in, but oh, she's liable to catch it again. Here is the Panther ready to attack. The flying headlock and it worked well. The The Panther on the outside doing something about it. She's ready to dive off that rope, and as she does, she hit, almost got the pin. Side headlock again for Estella, but holy cow. I tell you, some of the moves these girls make, I have trouble figuring out. There is that karate-type kick that has landed solidly in Estella's midsection and sends her to the outside of the ring where she's hoping of course to be able to catch her breath completely she may and she may not be able to panther up in the ring having trouble again with that uh, with that knee bandage and the um, referee ready to toll the count so la pantera hurt her knee in that first fall. She came in with a knee bandage on and crossed my heart and hoped to spit 
Estella is ready to lead a new life, and look who doesn't believe her. That's the right spirit here because she has been taken in before, a con job by, by a veteran. And Estella Melina goes in and takes a chunk of the head of La Pantera at that time to, to bite away at. Trouble now as they said, oh man, she knocked her right out from under her feet that time. And you see Melina as she measures her and then lets her have it. That the referee had there had to literally pull her away from it. She was determined to continue that chokehold. Melina's experience is showing as she moves in there to try to measure her with an elbow. Crotch hold, lift and slam and Estella goes down and that one aimed at the midsection. She didn't put her foot on her chest this time. I don't think she thought she was ready for that kind of treatment. And she comes in to just out and out choke her back into the ropes. Instead of the panther doing the biting, it's the panther being bitten. I tell you, she swings a roundhouse wallop. It's a beauty. Oh, wow. solid wallop to the jaw that time. Five minutes have gone by, and this, the second fall of this match. There's that whip across the ring, and uh, Estella's getting ready to measure her again. Oh! A panther that time with a driving, diving headbutt. Body scissor, reverse body scissor, and well, I'll tell you, you see something new every day. And never are you more likely to see something new, more innovations than when you watch Mexican stars wrestle, Mexican girl stars wrestle, they come up with something innovative in almost every match, and this has been no exception. If you ask me to name that particular hold, I'd, I'd be hard pressed <laughs> to do it. I hope you won't do it. But the fact is that I have never seen the like of it and uh, may never again. We'll be back here in a moment after this word from the studio. Two, one, the bell sounds and both girls are out on the floor. You see La Pantera on the right side of the ring as she fixes that bandage. The knee has been troubling her. There's no question about that. She heard it in that first fall or reheard it, one or the other. But anybody who has had knee problems can tell you that uh, hurt or rehurt, it's pretty tough to take. And Estella, as she moves in, catches the first advantage. And there you had a kind of a close-up look as she drove that wallop in and here she is proud of the manner in which she does it and she's good at what she does Pantera now looking for room to get back in the ring and She come around again. There she is with that roundhouse blow, right in the left, and she make, she makes progress with it. Oh, oh, this could be it. No, it isn't. Estella got out from underneath there, and here you now is a crossbody ride. You see the abdominal stretch applied in a slightly different fashion, and. And Melina's hair is being snatched there to add to the problem. Oh, that's a long ways down. A surfboard hold, and she's trying to force submission by keeping La Pantera doubled up. Good grip. She pulls up on those, on those arms. And that young lady underneath is having her, her problems crowd encouraging her to 
maneuver out of the hold and she did. She stuck it out and found an opening and then crawled through it. Bar to hold. And here goes Estella Molina for a similar crossbody ride, a similar abdominal stretch. Not the same, but there is a lot of similarity as she holds both those arms and manages to work it. But you see the leverage change. Could, could have a fall there, but we didn't get it. It was a two count. Boston Crab for Estella Molina as she tries to double her opponent up. And she managed to get her way out of difficulties. Well, I, I'll tell you, neither one of these girls is reluctant to throw a fist when the opportunity comes in. And there again comes that swing around kick as she delivers it. And any mule would be happy to have that much power. There again, she caught her coming off the rope and laid it in there. Estella's in trouble, and again, she ha has run into that barrage of blows, and she may be forced to capitulate. No, look, she's got a thumb in her mouth. And, and she chopped down on that as her last, oh! And that foot was a perfect answer. Little crisscrossing here, and she got her head first. Foot first. And again, this time, one foot. She come up from the floor. She's got a reverse head scissor. She's got it tied up. She did it. In spite of a... In spite of an injured knee, La Pantera de Serena manages to come up with a win over Estela Molina, and that was a great hold. And I mentioned innovative grips. That's one of them that takes a lot of doing, and Estela is, she wants five minutes more. Stay with us. Stay with us. The match is not yet over. Well, I, Looks now she'll take her five minutes in the dressing room. So the winner is La Pantera de Serena. We'll be back here in a moment after we have this word from the studio.